everyone and welcome to week 8 of essay writing for university. So this week we continue on our journey through module 4 which is taking you towards assignment 3 and assignment 4 and the conclusion of the course. And our focus this week is getting you really stuck into completing your annotated bibliography which is assignment 3 and is actually due at the end of week 9 which is this week. Uh, but, but by the end of this week this week, week eight, you should have um, a lot of the groundwork um, done towards this assignment. So let's have a look. So the first thing I will reinforce with you this week is to make sure that you're really sure about all the requirements for the annotated bibliography. Make sure that you ask for clarification if you need to and that goes for both internal and distance students and read all the instructions very carefully. So you should be quite familiar by now of where to go to on the EWU Moodle page. Click on the link to assignment 3 which will open up the page that looks like this entitled Completing Assignment 3 Successfully and there's a number of links, links there and there's also a number of sample annotated bibliographies that will give you an idea of what your assignment should look like. Um, please also make sure that you click on the final link there, the submission checklist, before you actually upload your assignment to make sure you can check off everything that you need to have done to make sure the assignment's completed uh, as well as you can do it. So in short, you need to make sure for your annotated bibliography that you have found, that you have researched and located four different types of resources on your chosen problems that relate to our topic uh, about um, issues that the Australian lifestyle has caused for our natural environment. And for each of those four resources, you need to have a complete citation uh, according to the Harvard Referencing Guide, a description of your search strategy, so how you found each resource using your information literacy skills, an evaluation of the resource and then at the end of um, the four resources and your discussion of them you will have a complete reference list so it will have four entries in it and you will also have your reflective response um, which is part of this assignment task also. So you need to use the template that's available on Moodle um, and you're going to need four of those obviously because you're going to have four resources. So the template asks you to fill in the type of resource or the kind of resource that you're having. So it might your first one might be an academic journal article, your second one might be a book, your third one might be um, the Australian Bureau of Statistics and your fourth one might be a DVD. Then you will have the citation for that resource as it would appear in a Harvard reference list, so a reference list, according, reference list formatted according to the Harvard style. And then you need to fill out the third section here, the search strategies that you use to find the resource. And then you fill out the, sec the um, last section there, which is the evaluation of the resource. So you evaluate, according to the criteria that we've provided you on the task sheet, how useful this resource will be for you um, in writing your research essay, which is assignment four. So how useful is it in relation to the topic that you've been given about the Australian lifestyle and the natural environment? So you might end up concluding that the resource you found, one of them, is really going to be really useful and central to you helping you write your essay. But sometimes when people evaluate their resource, they might end up saying that actually it's not as good as those first thought it was going to be and they probably won't use it as part of their research essay. There's no right or wrong answer there but we will be looking that to see that you have evaluated the resource clearly according to the criteria that we've given you. 
So in terms of those sections about search strategies and evaluation, what do you need to do? There's two other videos, one devoted to how to write up your search strategies and one devoted to how to write your evaluation here on Moodle. So you need to follow those very carefully and make sure you're doing everything that they ask you to do for each of your four resources in your annotated bibliography and you can watch those videos as many times as you like but you need to make sure that you really understand what they're asking you to do. So this week make sure you really understand what's expected for this assignment 3. Make sure you've got the templates ready to use. Start researching your two problems and choose the four different resources you're going to evaluate and it's really important that you keep notes as you go so you can easily write up your search strategies and I would suggest that you're at least halfway through this assignment by the end of this week because you only have one more week to do it once this week's finished. So make sure as always I remind you at the end of each of these little mini lectures that you're asking questions as you need to. So all the best with getting started with that annotated bibliography and we will talk to you again at the beginning of week 9.